Well, let's get ready to rumble! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Sean Bordercare, and welcome back to another banger for you guys. And today, I'm going over five rules that all men should live by. Doesn't matter if you're short, you're tall, you're skinny, you're chubby. All men should live by these five rules. If that sounds interesting, let's have it do it. Number one, which is wake up early. Now, a lot of you might disagree and say, or some of you might be saying, Sean, you're freaking crazy. Well, let me explain. When you wake up early, you have more time in the day to do things, right? Me personally, let, let me just give you an example. Take myself. I wake up during the week at 4.30. You know, get a shower, get dressed, all that good stuff. My daily routine that I, my daily routine that I told you guys before. Do my daily routine but I still have time in the day after all of that during the week I still have time to do things so whether that's edit content uh, create content you know playing video games spending time with my friends just getting stuff done. Waking up early is beneficial to making that happen. Now, me personally, I'm good if I get five to six hours of sleep. So then that way, I go to bed probably between... 10, 10, 30, 11. If I go to bed, and there's some nights that I go to bed at 11, 30, even at 11, 30, 11, no later than 11, 30 is my cutoff, is when I need to be in bed and sleeping. Bye. Because if I'm not by 4, 30, nah, it's no bueno. So if I, if I get between five and six hours, maybe even four maybe, I'm still good. But if I go past 11.30, like 12 o'clock, mm -mm, no bueno. Number two, which is go to the gym. I go to the gym, depending on the week, I would say probably like two to three times a week sometimes I don't even get that but the reason why I go to the gym is not only to you know feel better about myself get stronger but it's also a mental um a mental inspiration because when you're at the gym, you feel like you can do anything. Stay with me on this. When, when you go to the gym, whether it's leg day, arm day, triceps, biceps, shoulders, whatever it might be, you pop in those earbuds or listen to the music and you're just focused. You you focus on nothing else but what you're doing. That gives you um that gives you a mental motivation. It's all about that discipline. Go going back to number one. Waking up early also takes discipline and also going to the gym is also can also help you as well 
not only for the mental, the physical, it just makes you feel good about yourself. It makes you look It makes you feel better, it makes you want to look better, feel better, you get the gist. Obviously, there's, there's, um, the mental benefits, the physical benefits, all that good stuff. Number three, which is self-analyze. I self-analyze myself, mm, I would say probably every, every week or every other week on everything. You know, how I'm looking, how I'm feeling, um, you know, what's going on in my life, how can I change it, how can I, what what's going for me, what's not going for me, and kind of like assess myself on my life, basically, and what's going on in it, what should be in it, what should not be in it, and basically just self-analyze myself and my whole, my whole life, basically. Not only my life, but how I look, how I feel, um, just basically breaking down everything basically from the roots um, and kind of just taking, taking mental notes if you will um, of what do, I, what do I need to change, what needs to stay just mentally analyzing yourself what can I, what can I change about myself? What can I not change about myself? That sort of thing. Number four, which is constantly learning. Constantly learning new skills, um, whether that's uh, reading more, learning, you know, building your vocabulary, um, what else, reading more, just basically constantly learning new skills to build up that, that personality, that portfolio, that self-portfolio, and just makes you more smarter, more it makes you smarter it makes you look more attractive it it adds a new tool to your arsenal like I said before just constantly learning new skills in general it doesn't have to be you know reading building up your vocabulary just learning a new skill in general Constantly learning a new skill. And the fifth and final rule, which is create, not consume. Let me explain. Good example. Take me an example. I don't consume content. I create content. I create products. I'm a content creator. I create content for people to watch. Eventually... I'm going to create product for you guys to buy. T-shirts, hoodies, socks, wristbands, all of the above. Any phone cases, water bottles. Um, I don't consume all of the negativity I don't consume any of that I create content 
I create products that people will buy and I don't consume I would never really got into consuming products I I never really consumed products that didn't f didn't fit my standards I hope that makes I hope this makes sense always create don't consume try to create something of your own good example I'm a content creator I create my own content I edit it I publish it I create content in the near future I'm going to create products be a creator not a consumer be a creator not a consumer and that's basically it for this video guys those five rules all men should live by if you guys found this video informative make sure to drop a big fat like on this video if you're new to the channel welcome my name is sean bullock welcome to the sean bullock family and if you haven't already which i don't know why you wouldn't hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload because i post every monday every thursday you don't want to miss them because they're absolute bang ones if you guys haven't already go jump a phone on my social media that'll be all in the description below if you guys have any comments concerns anything let me know down in the comment section below and uh yeah like i said like subscribe if you're new hit the notification bell post every monday every thursday description comment section all that good stuff and as always guys stay resilient stay positive make your pain your inspiration until next time Sean Boulder here. Peace.